Good morning. We made it. We're down here at the base down in your impanement valley. And did you sleep good? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Cozy. So, yeah, we're going to get some coffee and uh, some breakfast and strike camp and head out. And I'm very cold. <laughs> We got camp broken down here in the valley and now we're headed up to basically the trailhead. Um, I didn't cover how to get here from Trona because it was dark and the turns, any type of landmarks, it would have been like, all right, turn here. You're like, ah, oh, it looks pretty dark. So, little riverbed, amazing clearance on this Prius. This road has been horrible in the past. Uh, I came up here actually right after Thanksgiving with a group of friends. And so when I was up here last, the road was pretty decent. That's why I'm driving up here in this Prius. Otherwise, uh, like if it's sometimes it'll get washed out and yeah, impassable unless you kind of unless you have four wheel drive. But even if it is, you can still park at the bottom and then hike this probably a mile or two up to the trailhead and then go from there. But, coffee in hand. You guys have breakfast, right? Yeah. Yeah. Some oatmeal, all gassed up for the trail. So we're gonna get up to the trailhead and pack our packs and start hiking. When we come back out, I'll probably just briefly show you in the daytime because we'll probably be driving back in the day. Um, do your different turns as far as turning onto Indian Ranch Road and Surprise Canyon Road and all that stuff. So, onward. So, we're up here at the parking area. As you can see, cars kind of usually just nose in along here. Sometimes it's actually kind of busy. A lot of people come up here. Some people come for day hikes, which blows my mind like by the time you hike up there for a day hike you don't have that much time and the last thing you want to do is hike further which is usually where the cool stuff is but people park along here up there's an old abandoned mining camp and then over off to this side is the uh, stream and when you hike the trail pretty much goes straight up this canyon which is surprise canyon and yeah I'm gonna finish packing up and we'll get going this area over here, kind of up above where you park, this actually used to be an active mining camp up until I think early 2000s, maybe 2005, somewhere in there. They had a fire and the whole thing burned down, like total loss. There was a number of people that actually lived up here and uh, worked a mine somewhere up in these hills. And since then, it's been abandoned pretty much like everything else up here. So one thing we learned last year when we hiked up here was what, boys? That we wanted maybe probably not hike in the dark. And what else about our feet? We don't want to get them muddy and wet. We don't want to get them muddy and wet. So what are we going to wear for the first part of the hike? Booty, booty. Yes, we're going to wear our awesome boots. I'm going to wear my Gore-Tex socks. Because the first part of the hike pretty much follows the creek straight up and get wet feet no matter what so have some sort of contingency for that and then you don't have to hike in wet shoes here we are at the trailhead gonna start hiking you boys ready yeah yeah you better be excited we got a ways to go buddy all right let's get moving right here about uh i don't know maybe 25 yards up the trailhead there's this log from BLM and basically you just say where you're going, what you're doing. So if you get lost and fall down a mine shaft, they know who's up there and when you expected to come out. That said, make sure you tell someone where you're going and what you're doing before you get in here. Once you drop into Panamint Valley, 
There's no cell phone service whatsoever. Obviously none up here either. But go ahead, write your stuff on the log and head on up. <laughs>